Hey guys, today I want to talk about something that nobody's talking about, fueling your aircraft. It's important to remember when you fuel your plane that you've got two tanks. There's one here on the pilot side wing, and if we go around to the other side of the airplane over here, you can see there's another fuel tank. I had always only thought there was one on the left side, just like in my car. They didn't teach me this in Flyer's Ed. That's why I'm making this video for you today. All right, so the first thing you want to do is drag your heavy-ass plane over to the fuel pumps because you're too cheap to buy a best tugs like the other pilots you see on social media. Nope, not you. You're keeping it real. Once the plane's at the pumps, what you want to do is you want to lie to the machine and tell it that you've grounded the plane. Plane, you're grounded. Sit right there and think about what you've done. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a liar. All right, so the machine's going to want to know your tail number, and this is so that you can, um, then it's going to want you to tell it how much fuel you want. This is where you start to calculate a mental formula of how much is in the tanks already, plus the minimum you need to make the flight, times the cost per... Oh, why is it so expensive? Nobody's got time for this, so just enter a thousand gallons and get on with your life. It's going to make the machine happy. So you're going to want to tie this around your ankle before you get started so you can, uh, because lightning, uh, I think. These gas caps are painted red, and they paint them red because, and then they put these stickers here for the colorblind, otherwise nobody would be able to find them. All right, this here is, uh, it says a 100 LL, and it stands for 100 less Lincolns. That's uh, what you're going to have after you fill up your tanks. Here we're fueling up and we got to do some math. We know 21.3 ounces of fuel weighs a pound. This plane holds 36 gallons or 4,608 ounces. If we divide that by 21.3, we get 216 pounds of fuel. This is what's known as wing loading uh, because the fuel is in the wings. Now me, I personally weigh 17 pounds per gallon, which divided by my current volume of 11 and a half gallons converts to 32 foot pounds. So we combine that with the wing loading and we get what my instructor, uh, Max Gross, calls the center of... Uh, moving on. Now it's important when you're fueling up that you time this so that you stop the fuel flow before <laughs> That's fine. It came from the ground. It's going back home and the EPA isn't here in the ramp. When you're done fueling your tanks, they say it's a good idea to roll up the hose for the next guy as a courtesy. Personally, I think you're just making that guy do much more work. Cause now he's got to unroll it and roll it back up. Just leave it out. The next guy's going to thank you. All right, so that's all there is to fueling your airplane. I got the uh, fuel in the plane. I got the gas caps back on, which is uh, something I always forget. Really, there's only one other thing that I think I need to say about that. Alexa, play Baby Shark. I really hope that worked.